Federal government frontbenchers are defending Kelly O'Dwyer's decision to quit politics, saying it's unfair to suggest she's deserting the coalition as it stares down an election. But her departure to focus on her family is again fueling debate within the Liberals on whether women are given enough support to succeed. From Canberra, here's political reporter Matthew Doran. A beachside stop on the would-be leader's tour of Queensland, canvassing votes... That's my plan to become Prime Minister. ..and announcing a $46 million plan to fund swimming lessons for kids across the country. And we'll keep this fairly brief because, of course, we'll probably rather be in the water than just standing in front of it talking politics. But, of course, politics is the name of the game. And with Minister Kelly O'Dwyer's decision to quit politics, to focus on her young family, <laughs> Labor has another opportunity to attack its rivals on the issue of women in Parliament. Once she goes, what other women are they going to put on the front bench? The Victorian MP's announcement she'd quit stunned many in the corridors of power, as have the further revelations she suffered a miscarriage in Parliament House. She wants to see a woman replace her as the Liberals' candidate in Higgins, and so does her leader. And I think we're going to see um, some outstanding candidates come forward. Already a number, I think, have been uh, um, heading that way. But for all of them, um, Kelly's announcement would have been new, so it's, uh, it's not even 24 hours old yet. One Liberal woman considering running for the seat is current Victorian Senator Jane Hume. Do you mind if I bring a chair over here? Mr Morrison would have rathered the attention focused on the Coalition's announcement of $90 million to subsidise lung cancer medicine. You need to keep standing it up. Instead, he's been faced with a diagnosis on why his party is struggling to attract and retain female representatives. Labor's preferred treatment is quotas. Because when you get a critical mass, it does change the culture. That's been criticised by Liberals in the past, but the Prime Minister concedes pre-selection practices will always need to be reviewed. Those matters are, are ones that I would intend to return to as, a, as leader of the party after the next election. Liberal women are frustrated another of their colleagues is leaving politics, concerned not only about the strains of the job, but acutely aware of the damage it does to the government's brand. They're also worried it won't be the last departure we see before the election campaign. Matthew Doran, ABC News, Canberra.